I always wondered if airplanes could rewind. It must be easy and would seem like this, right? A proper rewind is needed when a memory is happily unforgettable. My recent UK trip was just amazing. Kickstarting against all odds due to the Queen's passing away in the whole potential fuzz, crossing the streets of central London, visiting the Vestry Museum for the Sweet Harmony exhibition, which documents the Waltham Forest's contribution to the pirate radio and rave scene of the late 80s and early 90s with some magnificent and golden material, paying a tribute in front of Keith Flynn mural in Dalston and uh, closing with the extravaganza nightclub, the main reason uh, and the highlight of this trip. This time I wanted to keep my vlog raw and more old school friendly, because this is the smell of this trip. We are guided by the, y- the, the youngest, maybe, hailing from Germany. The boy wonder. The boy wonder is not Robin anymore, it's Dino. <laughs> Look both ways. <laughs> Look forward. <laughs> That's the only way that's not safe. <laughs> The date was uh, 4th of March 2019 when uh, the true legend, iconic performer, the man like uh, Keith Flint has decided to set up his own flame, the infamous fire started flame from another dimension. The news back then came out of the blue and uh, everyone was shocked, but as it is said, uh, Keith Flint had a regular struggle with his mental health. So, uh, Headstock uh, Music and uh, Mental Wellbeing Festival has decided to held a campaign setting up and creating a mural here in Hackney and uh, the result is absolutely stunning as you can see. It was created by uh, the artist called uh, Axe and uh, it's an original massive tribute to the iconic persona, Keith Flint, of the property. And today it's 17th of September, it would have been Keith's birthday, and it's a, a big day. Rest in peace, brother Keith, forever keep inside us. And as a bit of a context, uh, where I'm standing at the moment, and uh, of course where Keith is standing at the moment, uh, there was the world infamous labyrinth. And uh, of course, uh, we all know that the Prodigy have given their first ever PA, the Four Races Club, in February 1991. So, this place has a magic vibe, guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
two of the best representatives of uh, the German hardcore. First of all, it's Imperial. Four to the floor hardcore. She was the man. Secondly comes TNO project from uh, Bremen. Maybe the youngest one born in 1999. Night Force Records is here. Alive and kicking, I'm saying. So it's the day after uh, the massive uh, nightclub event that uh, took place uh, at Scala in London, organized by Night Force Records, legendary label. And I'm um, uh, outside now in London, in central London, with my two fellas, TNO Project and Vitality, or for some uh, vinyl digging now. So, any, uh, let's say, uh, feedback for yesterday's uh, massive feedback. gig? Uh, on the side it said unmissable. I think that was accurate. What do you have to say for yesterday's gig uh, of uh, Night Force Records? Pretty intense, meeting all the people for the first time. Just got to know them all from Facebook, so pretty good to catch up. Yeah, so many good artists, so many good acts. Your on favorite stage, your on stage, off stage. When you look around and recognize faces. Yeah. Your favorite one oh, was? That's a, that's a trick. Yeah, I can't say. It is, it is. I saw a lot of shades of rhythm. But I, saw I, a lot really, of I really like Feet Cannon. Feet Cannon was really Smash good. Smash the Dragon, I really love it. DJ Patience got my attention early on. Yeah. We should mention Aysen as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Aysen was yeah. really good. And of course, Jimmy J. Cruelty, they played yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, that was a pack. Yeah, it was really packed. That was fun up there. Yeah. Too many. Can't list them all. And you? What's your favorite? Quiet over May here. Maybe, no, no it was, maybe it was Asen. Yeah. Maybe it was Asen, but everyone uh, was uh, special that night, to be honest, you know. Danny and Styles, should I had fun with Danny Styles. And Ray mm -hmm. Keith at the end was doing cool stuff. A lot of mean sounds. I got into everybody. I saw every artist. So my whole night was running around the stairs. I just did stairs all night. <laughs> got a stretch today. What happened on Saturday night was really incredible. The first nightclub, Night Force Records are back with the major events. The vibe remains here in this place. But it was kind of an eye opener for me. <laughs> Is this the Generation it's X a, podcast now? It's a part, yeah, it's a part of, uh, you know, the vlog. Shout outs to the Generation X podcast. <laughs> Perfect. Yamas! Yamas!